hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i will give you a tutorial regarding how to create a frozen text effect in adobe photoshop so this is the frozen text i have created in adobe photoshop in simple 20 steps so let's begin the tutorial Let's begin by opening a new file. Go to File menu, New, and this is in a landscape mode. Resolution I give it 300, and color mode is RGB. Okay. Now I need to convert this background color into black. So either I can use the paint bucket tool or simply press the button Alt Delete. The next step is to write the text. So I will write the text. Frozen Ritraj. So I will adjust it by pressing the button Control T and resize my text. Squeeze a bit. Okay, and hit the Enter button. Now I can. Uh, and hide the background layer to see whether it is being placed in the right place or not either I can place it a bit above the horizon click on the eye icon to bring the background layer now I need to merge this text layer and the background layer so I will do it simply by pressing the shortcut key Control E I have to do this because there are some certain filters that cannot be performed only on the background layer or on a text layer. We will go to filter, pixelate and select crystallize. So I will put the value 6. Now I need to save this text as selection. So I will go to channel and then make selections and then click on this save selections so we have created a new selections that is alpha 1 we'll come back to layers palette and then press ctrl d to deselect the text i need to rotate this image 90 degree so that i can perform the win effect so i will go to image image rotation clockwise 90 degree I can press the button Ctrl 0 fit the screen. I will go to filter, stylus, select win and method I will select win direction I will give it from the right. You can see the win effect but the effect is very less so I can keep pressing the button Ctrl F to repeat the same filter. So press Ctrl F. Now I will rotate the image counterclockwise. So I will go to image, image rotations and counterclockwise. I can press Ctrl 0, fit to screen. I will apply the crystallized filter one more time. We okay. will go to filter, pixelite and crystallize. This time I will put the value 4. now I will go back to channel and then make the selection again and this time I am making the selections along with the wind effect we will go back to layers palette create a new layer and then press the button control delete control delete will perform the duplicate selections press control D to deselect it if I hide the background layer you can see the newly created text now I need to create a new layer and that layer has to be in between this background and layer 1. I need to apply black color on this new layer. So I will select the paint bucket tool and click on the layout. So you can see the changes in the effect. We need to apply some effects to this layer 1. So we will go to effects select inner glow 
blend mode I will be selecting dissolve opacity I will give it 75 I need to change the color then I can put some values that is 3 5 B 0 F D so this will give me some blue color and you can go for some deeper color also okay the final color I'm applying is 3093 F8 technique I will keep it softer then chalk I will go for 15 and size I will give it 10 and I press the button okay now I need to create one more new layer that is on top of layer 2 out here I will apply some gradient color so this is the value of the color that is 0 C 4 6 A 9 and the other out here I put it black and I press the button ok and I just drag it from the bottom now I will select the layer 1 and press the button Control alt shift e Control alt shift e will perform a merged layer between layer 1 and layer 3 so whatever effects and filters I have to apply I have to apply on layer 4 now I will go back to channel and perform the selections come back to layer palette and then click on the layer mask I need to unlink the two layers by clicking on this chain and then I will select on this colored layer and then go to filter and apply some Gaussian blur I will give it 1.5 I will go to filter again and select pixelite and click on crystallize this time I will put the value 5 then I will select on this grayscale and control click to make a selection and then come back to this colored layer and then go to filter look for this filter gallery and then out here go to artistic and select plastic wrap and the value I need to put is 6 1 and 4 deselect it the last effect I need to apply is adjustment layer and select hue and saturation then I will check on this colorize and put the value 218 in hue and saturations I will put the value 73 this is the final output and if you want to increase some levels of the colors then you can select this layer and press the button ctrl l and increase the lightness okay. so this is the final output we have thank you hey guys thank you for watching the tutorial i hope you like it and if you like it please share it and subscribe it and put some comments in the comment sections and you can request for more tutorials in the comment sections and i will bring it up in the next tutorial thank you guys